Hey, okay. So once you get to this point, then just log in like normal, right? <laughs> go here, then go to Lexicon. There's no way that you can cite this from, I couldn't get it to go. So this is how I did it. This is my drug, okay? And there's no guidance on this, so I really don't care what they have to say. So this, I did the best I could with this. So you got these references right here. You see this right here? This is the package insert. Yours is gonna be the same way. You're just gonna highlight this right here. And control C for yours. You're using a computer, it'd be uh, control C. So just to copy it. And then go to yours. This is mine. Let's see. So in your references, you would just you would just put this in. So you just one space put it in. So it'd be like one point and then space it over put it in right and then once you get to this uh, you go up here and I'm not sure how it's done on the regular but you see how I've numbered these that's all you really have to do is uh, Mark them like this and then put them in here, but there's another way you can do this also The way the other way I did it the way I've done it is because I had to use this for my research on Putting stuff in from my theory is I went ahead and used these So and I would cite it in so like if you had all this and you understand how to do this if not I can make another video for you, but so like you put it here and then you would hit this and that would cite it and also put it in here. Uh, once it puts that in, you can still highlight it. You can go in here and highlight it. And you can control V for mine and paste it in. So it looks like it came from EndNote, but technically it really didn't. Now as far as that FDA page, I had some sources from that. But I, did, I end up not using it because it just didn't work out for me. So let me know if this is what you need. If it's not, then just text me back and I'll try to come up with something better. So I hope this helps. If not, call me tomorrow.